So, we need to have a talk about the shit fest you are about to embark on known as weight painting. Now, my objective is to get as many of you as possible through the next two weeks alive. And by alive, I just mean not give up and feel like total shit or suck at animating. But before we go any further, I'm gonna give you some advice that I wish someone gave me when I was doing this for the first time. Weight painting is hard. The human body is f***ing weird. There's no such thing as perfect weight painting, and if there was, you are definitely not getting paid enough to do it. What you're about to learn is so difficult that it's basically its own professional field. Because the people who specialize in character animation are almost never the people who specialize in anything else. They're completely separate skills. So if you are doing this for the first time, and you find yourself getting frustrated, and spending days or even weeks struggling to get the joints to been just right, relax. There's a reason why people pay a lot of money in order to buy the skills that you're about to learn. Now I will specifically be teaching you the Super Smash Bros style of rigging and animation. Now why Smash? Well for one, it's my favorite game. Two, it's a beautiful style that literally millions of people around the world love. And three, there's a lot of open source data about how the characters were created, what the rigging system looked like, how many polygons each character had, and it's a great system to base your own style off of because their rigs obviously worked really well with characters ranging all the way from simple things like Kirby to crazy things like Ridley. So no matter what your character looks like, the Smash style rig system is very likely to be compatible with it. Now, both Super Smash Bros and Guilty Gear XRD use bone correction systems. Systems. They have the normal skeleton that you'd expect to see on every rig, and on top of that, they have little bones that make micro adjustments automatically in order to save the animator time. So what does that mean? Well, it means that in order to get smooth bends, your rig is gonna have a few correction bones that you can use to make adjustments when things get fugly. But we are gonna make those adjustments automatic. We are gonna use constraints and drivers in order to program the correction bones to move on their own. So you don't actually have to spend any of your time making corrections. The bones will automatically correct themselves when the main bone starts to move. So at the end of building your rig, as the animator, the only bones that you're actually gonna use are gonna look like this. That's right, this is it. This is all you need to control the entire body. Everything else happens automatically. Also at the end of the series, I will be giving this rig away to you guys totally free. You can use it, study it, or edit it for whatever the hell you want. And real quick, I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who are supporting me on Patreon. It really does make a huge difference for me, and to be completely honest, if it wasn't for their support, I would have stopped making videos a long time ago. So please take a second to appreciate the beautiful names you see here on the screen. They are the backbone of the channel, and I could not have done this without them. If you enjoyed this content and you'd like to support or improve it, definitely consider joining the squad. Would love to have you on board. In the last poll we had on Patreon, you guys voted on what animations you wanted us to get into. And as a result of popular demand, looks like we're gonna be going into facial rigging, slice of life, and action animations before the series is over. So I hope you guys look forward to that because I'm definitely excited to show you guys what's coming up. But before I let you go, I wanted to end this video on a high note to help you relax for what you're about to experience. How many of you have seen this animation before? Probably most of you. But have you ever noticed Falco's toe? Look real close. You can see the tip of the toe was not weight painted completely. Now I'm gonna ask you a more important question. Does it really matter? Honestly, does it really matter that Snake's leg is totally coming out of his stomach? Did the fact that Pokemon Trainer's leg is completely going through itself ruin anyone's experience with the game? The answer is no. Nobody gives a shit about any of the things I just mentioned. And nobody should, because the animations were beautiful, the game was still fun, and that's the point I'm trying to make. You are gonna struggle getting your joints to bend properly. Because even the professionals mess these things up all the time. And that's because the animators understand that there is not enough time in the day to make everything perfect. There never is. The time you spend perfecting your weight painting is time you're not spending perfecting the actual animation. And the animation is what matters most. So you need to remember that at the end of the day, the number one most important thing is that people enjoyed the final product. That's it. So don't get caught up in trying to perfect the weight paints. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be good enough. So relax, get ready to rig, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day. See you around.